Well, Gareth joins us now alongside Vice Principal of the school, Anna Jordan, and pupils Suad, Maisie and Jarrell are here too. And we'll come to you three in just a moment. But Gareth, I wanted to start with you to begin with. Um, so how did you get involved in this process? Well, I was invited by David Benson, the head teacher, yeah. to come and help them. Uh, so it was lovely to go in with no real idea of what I, what we were going to do and just listen and respond to the students who, who told me what, what they wanted. What? So what was the conversation when they, when they got in touch with you what was it that, the, that they wanted to achieve it was simply let's mark the moment when we mm. go back to to our original building let's mark it and I don't think they knew what they wanted mm. and I felt that when I arrived what the what they were all telling me was that they wanted something fun they wanted something expressive but they wanted to talk about how they responded because of all of the students were affected mm. by, by what happened and and that was that was a responsibility for me to get that right and to listen to them and, and work through it carefully. And Anna, music has always been a big part mm. of the school, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's really at the heart of the culture of the school, really. Mm. Um, you know, it's it's a big part of the of the lessons that they have, but it's also, you know, we celebrate with music in assemblies all the time, and we have house competitions that revolve around music a lot. So it's it's really kind of at the heart of, of the culture. And of the this school. this whole project is um, is to help everybody move forward yeah yeah and and it was we wanted something that they could work towards something positive that they could work towards which was joyful and gave them an opportunity to kind of talk about how they were feeling um but had had a kind in a constructive way that had a kind of goal to work towards yeah. all right well Jarrell, you're into sport but also music too yeah. so what did you do what how did, how did you find the whole experience um i found it quite well um i found it really, went really well um the way I kind of went into it, I kind of thought about it quite strategically because obviously I was into music previously, but not as I am now. Right. So what I kind of did is I wanted to kind of let the students realise that we are all in this together. It's not just a specific stereotype where... Not just only, for the choir. Yeah, not yeah. just for the choir, it's for everyone. So I kind of wanted um, to show a sign of unity so we can all be amongst it together interesting there was that you said you weren't into music as much as you are now so yeah. has this experience yeah. sort of introduced you to something new definitely like um <laughs> yes yeah, <laughs> yeah previously um yeah i was more of a i wasn't much of a vocalist yeah so i was more into playing drums and obviously the keyboard but now it's kind of given me the realization that my voice is important yeah. and the way i i use it i should address it and the way i obviously pro resident stuff, so. How did you feel about going public? <laughs> um, it, it, was, it was a very good experience. I mean, obviously getting a lot of recognition, um, but it was something that we needed to address. Mm. It will obviously... Absolutely. We need to let the country know that mm. our voices must be heard. Mm. And, uh, and uh, Suad Maisie, I mean, that, that was a collaboration, really, wasn't it? I mean, you're an aspiring writer, we, mm. we know that. And, um, and so uh, this was a, a, quite a powerful drama piece. Yeah. Um, it, well, so when Gareth first came to us and he proposed the idea of a show that we do, we knew that we wanted it to be about our story and quite a large and important part of our story had to do with Grenfell. So it was just about really presenting it, like representing it properly within the, within the show and, and for people to really understand the gravity of what happened mm -hmm. and that we're stronger than ever now. And how did you feel, Maisie? Um, I think it really gave us all a voice, not just myself and Suha, yeah. but I think as the choir as a whole, we were really able to open up and say, well, actually, this is how we do feel. So we were really able to sort of, like, construct this show and put in all our feelings. Mm. And it came out to be something really great in the end. And, Gareth, that just goes to show the power of music, really, doesn't yeah. it? That it's not just about the song or the singing, it's the process. And yeah. it's an emotional release, actually. Well, you know, if I, uh, all the staff were, were traumatised, all the students were traumatised, and, and to say, right, we're going to sing a song about what you've been through felt like a sort of terrifying mm. prospect at first. Um, and there were moments where where we worried about that, you know, is this the right song? Is it right to sing under these circumstances? And I think as we, as we got yeah. further, you know, we all cried. There were a lot of tears. Um, but we found a way to get to, I think, quite a hopeful place and, and to start to look forward, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, you, uh, you're our, our neighbours. I mean, you're, mm -hmm. uh, you're just far. across the way. And it, this, this is obviously emotionally a massive impact. But also, you know, geographically, you had to, you had to move yeah, away. Yeah, um, we what... moved to... I mean, we... We, we went to a lo another local school for um, the last few weeks of term and then we moved to temporary accommodation for the following year. So yeah. 
We're, we're back in our original building. How now. did that feel to go back? Is into our original building. Mm. Um, it, it felt, felt like, because KA2 was like a home away from home. Yeah. So it was finally like we were returning home and it, it was just great. Yeah, we're, we're really glad to be back. It makes a massive difference to the quality of mm. yeah. their lessons and yeah, yeah. The, the feel of the school. Not everybody was initially thrilled to be involved. Um, and, uh, and there was a, there's the fire alarm story. I quite like, yeah. I quite like that one. Yeah, well, we had the performance um, at the end of Programme 1 and uh, Jarrell did a fantastic spoken word rap um, about his experience of Grenfell, so it's quite an quite intense moment. And just at the point that the choir sang, the fire alarm went off um, and uh, it was, you couldn't make it up, you really couldn't, that the school that had been so, through so much to do with fire mm. uh, should have this in the middle of their performance, it's just terrible. But it did enable Adil, who was um, the boy who actually had written the song, who had not been sure about whether he was going to get up. It, it was like an act of God. It was like, no, stop the performance, Adil is not singing. And <laughs> Adil walked up, yeah. sang, and, and it, it was a lovely end to that, to the end of yeah. Programme One. Mm. Um, I love the fact that this has begun something now for all of you. And I think you performed at the Royal Albert Hall, did you? Yeah, the, is that... choir. Um, yeah, the, the choir, choir yeah. did, yeah. The choir did. Yeah. Well, amazing. Yeah. Really yeah. amazing. Well done, all of you. And we're thank you. glad you're back. You really home, lovely yeah. to meet you. Well done. Thank, thank, you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Gareth. Uh, the choir, our school by the tower, is tonight at nine on BBC Two. And it's lovely to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.